Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I'm bringing to you a rustic Dollar Tree DIY using those block word home pieces that the Dollar Tree is carrying. Now they seem to be carrying these a bit more frequent than they have in the past. Right now it's Valentine's Day, so they've got the word home with a heart on it, which I absolutely love. So I picked one up and I decided to make a wall decor plaque out of it. I love the simplicity of this. I love how it turned out. It is that rustic chic feel to it that I absolutely love. And so I can't wait to bring this to you. It's quick, it's easy, it's budget friendly, and the outcome is so stinking rustic and cute, I can hardly stand it. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it and let's do some Dollar Tree DIYing on a budget today. Alrighty, getting started. I'm gonna use this plaque here from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna remove this corrugated heart embellishment because I'm gonna use it later on in the DIY. Once I removed it, it did leave the paper a bit uneven and instead of peeling up all of the paper, I'm just gonna take a light grade sandpaper, sand over it, try to smooth it out the best that I can because I wanna use this side of the plaque. I love these grooves that are in the plaque. It kind of gives it that paneled country look. And if I use the back side, it's just gonna be flat. And so typically you can find these plaques year round at the Dollar Tree for just about any season. So just keep your eye open for them. It doesn't have to necessarily be this exact one. I wasn't super happy with how smooth it came out. So I'm gonna take some Dollar Tree spackling and I'm just gonna run it over the top of this just so I have a nice smooth finish to paint on. Once the spackling's dry, I did decide to go back over it with a bit of sandpaper just to smooth it out a bit more. I opted to use the sandpaper versus a sponge because this plaque has paper on the top, so I just figured the sandpaper was the better route. And for the base coat of this plaque, I'm gonna go with some of Waverly's chalk paint, and you guessed it, the color of white, and I'm gonna give this a good couple coats, and it's gonna take a couple coats because I am using the front of this plaque instead of the back. For this DIY, I'm going for that country chic feel, and so to achieve that with this plaque, I'm going to frame it out with some of this burlap ribbon. This is a ribbon that you can get at Michael's. It comes in a 10-pack for about $5.99, which is less than a dollar a roll, or you can find something very similar to this at the Dollar Tree. I have seen it recently at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree's been adding a lot of really cool new ribbons to their inventory, and so you just kinda gotta look for it and keep an eye out for it. And so using some hot glue, I'm just gonna hot glue this ribbon onto the edges, and it's gonna give it a nice framed look, in turn adding to that country chic feel that I'm going for. Lately, Dollar Tree's been carrying some of these word plaque or word hangings, and so because it's Valentine's Day, they've got this home with a heart. Just about any time now, you can find these on the craft aisle with Crafter Square. It doesn't have to be this particular one, but because it's got the heart on it, I thought it was super cute. So I'm gonna take some of Waverly's wax, and I don't wanna really paint this because I don't want a solid color. I love that the wood grain shows on the front of this, and so I'm just gonna give this a coat of the Waverly wax and really keep that wood finished look and feel that this plaque has. Then using a bit of hot glue, just a bit. We don't need a whole glue stick for this part, just a little bit. I'm gonna place some on the back of this sign and then I'm just gonna go ahead and place it right off to the side. I'm not gonna center it on this plaque. And oh my word, I'm seeing that I totally missed a spot of wax in the heart. Aren't you glad I just pointed that out? Oh, I know why I didn't fix it, because I'm going to add this heart to it. Yeah, so there we go. We don't have to fix it. That was why I didn't fix it. I couldn't remember why I kept thinking, wow, how did I let that go? But that's why. 
These are letters that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It says $7.99. I did not pay that. Come on now. I got them at 50% off and I spent $4 on this and you're getting eight sheets of letters. And with these letters, I'm gonna add the words sweet home. So then my sign says home sweet home. Isn't that so fun? I love that. I think that buying letter packs like this is a great budget friendly alternative to using the Cricut. You just pick up whatever font it is you like, you're gonna get eight sheets of letters. And so you'll be able to use this not just for one DIY or two DIYs, but several DIYs. And so it's great to just add stuff like that to your stash. As a hanger for this piece, I did hot glue some of this onto the back and it's my new favorite way of hanging things like this up is by folding it here on the top so that way my ribbon lies flat instead of, I guess, off to the side. And here at the top, I'm gonna finish it off with one of my bows. It's not a twine bow, this is a burlap bow and I think it's the perfect finishing touch. Let's go take a look at this hung up on my new wood wall in my craft room. I felt like something was missing up in this corner and so I went and dug through my floral stash and I pulled out some of these lamb ear leaves that you can get from Walmart and a cotton bud that was on a stem that you can find at the Dollar Tree from time to time and thought that this was the perfect finishing touch to this corner. This is one of those pieces that is very versatile so if these colors and these floral pieces don't suit your decor style. I say get creative, make it your own because that's what DIYing is all about. Now I told you this sign was quick, easy, simple, budget friendly, but look at how rustic chic it turned out. I love the simplicity of this. I love how easy it was and I love doing projects like this that are that quick and easy and they have an outcome like this. I love this piece and this is most definitely a piece that is going to be going up in my craft room and it will be staying up. I hope you all enjoyed today's Dollar Tree Rustic DIY. Please make sure to give this video, you guessed it, a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of those thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive and bye for now.